Welcome back to Hannity. Tonight we close the show with a revelation of a long rumored but until now well kept presidential secret. It comes to us courtesy of Republican Senator Susan Collins of Maine, who just yesterday hosted a lunch on Capitol Hill for President Obama. Well, not surprisingly, the lawmaker elected to serve lobster from her home state at the meal. And while things were said to have been pretty cordial inside the room, a bizarre twist occurred when that meeting concluded. That's when Senator Collins emerged and revealed to reporters that the president declined to eat any of the food. Why? She says it's because, brace yourself, his food taster was not present. Well, the Daily Caller captured it all on tape. Listen as the senator describes the menu. Healthy lobster salad. I pointed that out to the president in keeping with the first lady's initiatives. And uh, Fox family potato chips made in Aroostook County, where I'm from, and wild blueberry pie full of antioxidants. See, this was a healthy lunch as well. We did have a little ice cream on the pie, too. Also made a main Giffords ice cream. So, in all seriousness, this was well received. Unfortunately, you know, the president can't. Um, he didn't get to eat anything? No, he looked longingly at it. <laughs> he honestly did look longingly at it. But apparently, he has to have, you know, essentially a taster. And I pointed out to him that we were all tasters for it. That if the food had been poisoned, all of us would have killed over. So, but uh, he did look longingly at it. That we have far better food than the Democrats do. And I said that was because I was hosted. <laughs> A food taster? It is good to be king. Well, the Daily Caller points out that the Secret Service declined, of course, to confirm the existence of a presidential food taster over the years. But it sounds like the senior senator from Maine just confirmed that remarkable fact, and you're paying for it. Well, that's all.